What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl. And today, I want to come in and talk to you about something that's going on with these TikTokers. Um, Laverne, uh, Zoe Laverne and Connor. Okay, so Zoe Laverne, she is a TikTok star. That's what they call them. And she has over 18 million subscribers with followers on her app. Um, she's best known for lip syncing in her videos. Um, she was on here from 2016 to 2018 um, when the, the app was just still called Musical.ly. Well, she's come under fire because she had a best friend named Connor, okay, and the video of them kissing had leaked and text messages of her friends saying that the reason why she's not around Zoe anymore is because, you know, she is doing something that she doesn't stand by meaning she caught feelings for a 13 year old and she even said that she said she apologized for kissing and catching feelings for a 13 year old fan first of all they used to do collaborations and stuff together so he has connor has over 400,000 followers on tiktok and she has over i think eight, like 18 million over my thing is you're 19 years old you're 19 years old. You should have known better. But then she said that she was in a dark space. They both were very, it was in a very dark place. And that they kissed. And they should, she knew it was wrong. The age of difference is wrong. She knew it was wrong. And she was sorry for that. So she's catching a lot of backlash because of that. And even her mom um, in a live stream got on and said that anybody can reach over and kiss somebody. They're best friends. But... The thing about that is, yeah, okay, they could be best friends, but she, he's 13. What if his mom or his dad, whoever his guardian is, what if they want to press charges against her? Because even her friend said that, you know, it's pedophilia. Um, you can be looked at as a pedo. That's third because that's an underage kid. If you are 18 and over, you should not be kissing or doing anything with the 13-year-old's or the 12 year olds listen your focus should be on somebody 18 and over not 16 and down 17 is in the middle kind of because you know that's still older but 16 and down you should not be even doing anything with those with that with that age i'm sorry and um she also got you know, people were saying that she was grooming him. And grooming refers to building a relationship, trust, and emotional connection with a child or a young person. So they can manipulate, exploit, and abuse them. But she said she was not grooming him. She would never do that. You know, she said that um, it was a bad thing. First of all, who filmed them, who filmed them kissing? That's what I want to know. How did you guys film yourselves kissing? And second of all, how did it get leaked? You know, like, how did all this stuff get leaked? I don't understand that. Who leaked this stuff? Um, She said it was something that just happened. And, and she's sorry for it. You know, she said they realized it was wrong and it stopped. Um, Wow. <clears throat> so um of course she went live doing all this stuff she was in a live stream and um when she was talking about it and everything like that um she said before anything was leaked she said i did tell his mom we kissed and she wasn't happy about it obviously but she understood that we were both teenagers and that feelings can be caught i didn't never kept by kissing anybody i never caught feelings by kissing anyone because I wasn't the type of person to just like to kiss anybody. I mean, it had to be really serious for us to kiss. I just didn't go around kissing people. I just didn't like, I didn't like that at all. I didn't, mm -mm. I don't know, <laughs> call me weird if you want, but I just, mm -mm, I just didn't like that. Um, and my mom was strict. So at 16 and 13 and 4, I wasn't kissing on nobody anyway. <laughs> so... These kids nowadays, they just do a lot of stuff early. They, everything is just early for them. Everything is early. So, um, 
Zoe's mom had to get on live, you know, on the live stream and say, you know, you guys now need to stop it, you know, stop bullying her, stop bothering her. It was a mistake. It happened, you know, don't do that. But then this other TikToker who's really popping named Isaac Presley, he spoke out against Laverne, which is her name is Zoe Laverne. Um, he said, friends go to the park together. <sighs> it's just really crazy. So she is catching some backlash of it. He also said, it's our job as adults, as positive influences in these younger than us lives to guide and help someone which i do agree with him there it is because when you are influencer let me tell you something social media is a big and powerful place you can do one thing and think it's nothing it can go viral and now you are influencer so now you have to watch people go to see what else you have you know what else you got going on it could be a good place the internet it could be a bad a bad place but my thing is when you are influencer and you have to watch what you're doing because you have a young audience when you have a young audience they're going to think everything you do is okay even when you become 21 years old 25 your young fans are still going to be there okay you're going to still have a young following because that's what you attracted uh, when you became an influencer so even if you're 21 and you're out drinking and you're talking about sex in a live stream you have to be mindful that these kids are still there in your live stream okay it's your job to say hey this is for adults only i will do something for my younger fans later you have to separate the two if you have a younger than you uh fan and y'all become friends that's your job to you know, make sure it stay as a friendship so this doesn't happen. Because I'm still, like, confused. How did a 19-year-old kiss a 13-year-old? I don't understand that. I just don't understand that. And she did say they both were in a dark place. But what type of dark place were you guys in for this to happen? So, but this could have got really ugly really fast. Because, let me tell you something. Um, Connor's family, his mom, she could have said, you know what? That's sexually abused and he even went and made a statement on his page and he said she did not rape me so i'm like jesus christ she didn't say that you know she took advantage of you she just said that she caught feelings and that was bad so i guess he had to put it out there because that was going to be the next step well if they kiss and they caught feelings what else did they do you see how that can go so i'm glad in the way he did say that that she did not take advantage of him like that but it's still bad because he's 13 years old. And he looks young. He looks like a baby. You know, they're both young, but she's more, leaning more towards adulthood than, than he is. He got some catching up to do. He's 13. He got, you know, he got years way ahead of him. So he should be doing things 13-year-old boys should be doing. And at this point and at this day and age, I don't know what 13-year-olds are doing in this time. In this era i really don't know if you know you let me know in the comment section do they still play video games anymore are they out playing basketball like i don't know because honey these kids are moving so fast nowadays it's crazy but you guys that's all i have at the moment i do have another story that i want to come and talk to you about it, it, it's really really um disturbing in a way but not like group like gruesome but well, you know what? I'll leave it up to you to decide when I tell it. But anyway, thank you for listening, and I will talk to you guys later. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this whole thing that I just talked to you about? Um, do you think she should have been mindful? Do you think that if they did, if the video wasn't leaked, that this they still would be friends and more kisses would have happened? Let me know in the comment section, and I will talk to you guys later.